So if you're paying for everything, using your debit card, you are basically losing money. And if you only have one or two credit cards, you're probably not optimizing all of your cash back and travel opportunities. And you really need your money to work for you, especially because inflation is literally 6% right now. So let's go through all the kinds of cards you need, ranging from cash back to travel. I have recommendations on what I think the best credit cards are. And before we get straight into it, I just wanna let you know that you should not be using cards if you're already in credit card debt, you want to eliminate credit card debt as fast as possible. And the only way these cards work and actually make you money is if you don't pay the interest. So you want to pay your cards off every single month. I've never paid interest on a credit card and I never want to. So I'd recommend only putting the amount of expenses on your card that you can pay back. So just want to get that out of the way. So I'm going to go into the three cashback categories you need as well as travel and stay till the end because I'll go into two luxury credit cards that are absolutely amazing to build up to and make building up your credit so worth it and I have these cards absolutely awesome so let's get straight into it we're gonna go fast so grab a notebook the first category that's really gonna build up your foundation of credit cards is a flat cash back card that gives you two percent cash back on all of your purchases it's really simple honestly it's the first thing you need in your wallet there's no annual fee to own these cards which is what you want when you're starting out with credit cards so the first suggestion I have is the PayPal two percent cash back MasterCard and I have this one. This was my first real credit card. And it just gives me 2% cash back on everything that I can redeem on my PayPal account. And basically every single retailer uses PayPal. You can always check out with PayPal. So it's really valuable. Another option for your flat cash back card is the city double cash card. So this also gives you 2% and it's essentially the same as the PayPal, but it offers you a 0% intro interest. So for the first 18 months of opening the card, you don't have to pay interest. So if you don't pay your card off the first 18 months, you're not going to get any of those interest payments. So this is pretty good. If you already have credit card debt, you can balance transfer your credit card debt to this card. You could pay it off within 18 months and not have to pay interest. So that's an option if you're in credit card debt or have any cards like that. Having a flat cash back card is essentially your foundation to the next cards I'm going to talk about. Just a quick interjection to remind you to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get back to it. Going into the next category, which is is the revolving cashback category where you get 5% on revolving categories. All of the cards I'm going to talk about in this cashback revolving category are $0 a year. So just keeping that in mind, none of these cost you any money to own. You need to add this card after you already have your flat cashback because that's a great foundation to start at. And now if you want to start optimizing your cashback, you use this every time there's a 5% category for the quarter and then you use the flat cashback for everything else. For example, one of the cards I'm going to talk about in this section is the Chase Freedom Flex card. So this quarter, you get 5% cash back on all Walmart purchases and all PayPal purchases, which is so, so valuable because you can essentially pay for anything using PayPal. I have my Subway account linked to my PayPal. So every time I buy Subway in store, I just order it through the app and it charges my PayPal and I get 5% cash back. So it's essentially 5% cash back on everything because you can basically pay for everything with PayPal. So there are two cards that I'd recommend for this 5% quarterly rotation category. The first is the card I talked about, the Chase Freedom Flex. I think the Chase family of cards is absolutely amazing. There are some top tier cards, one being the Sapphire Preferred that I'll go into in the next section. It's beneficial for you to already have a Chase card if you want to end up getting those higher tiers of cards later on. So I think the Chase Freedom Flex is absolutely awesome. It gives you a flat 1% on everything and it gives you the 5% rotating categories. Next quarter, I believe Q1 2022, the category is all grocery stores, which is really a good deal. Like every time I go to Trader Joe's, I know I'm getting 5% cash back. You get that 5% cash back up to $1,500 every single quarter, which is a lot of money. And the great thing about the Chase Freedom Flex over the next card I'm going to talk about is that it gives you 5% back on any travel book through Chase. And the Chase travel portal is actually great. So you get the same prices as you would 
straight with the airline. Like if you're trying to book an American Airlines flight, you could just book the same exact flight for the same price through Chase Travel and you get 5% back on that as well. So essentially what you would do is for the 5% and the 3% categories, which include like 3% for dining and pharmacy and the 5% on Chase Travel and the 5% on the rotating categories, you would use all of these. And when you have a purchase that doesn't fall into any of these categories, you use the 2%. So that's how you would optimize your cash back. The next option, instead of the Chase Freedom Flex, which also gives you a $200 intro bonus, which is kind of great, is the Discover It cashback card, which again, has the 5% rotating categories, but it doesn't have the other things that the Chase Freedom Flex has. That's why I'd say it's my number two option. So for the Discover It card, you get the 5% cash back on similar rotating categories. Here are the categories for 2022 for the Discover It card. So again, this is a great option. And if you're a student and you're watching this, the Discover It is a great student card as well. They have a student version, which is pretty great. Moving on to the third section of cashback cards you need. This one is simple. It's going to take us 20 seconds to talk about. It's the Amazon Signature Visa Rewards card. So this card is for anyone who has the Prime membership. It's awesome. You just get 5% flat cash back on every single Amazon purchase. I've had this for like a year and a half and I buy all of my Apple electronics on this. I think I got over $650 in cash back. This is a card that I feel like everyone should just have if you have a Prime membership because it's essentially 5% off everything you get on Amazon. The intro offer for this card is also a $150 gift card. So like the reason all these like credit cards offer you an intro bonus is because they're hoping you use the card a lot and don't pay it off every month. So you pay them interest. Like that's how they make all their money. And a lot of people, most Americans are actually in credit card debt. So, you know, if you know you're gonna pay it off, you get the $150 for free and you get 5% back on every Amazon purchase. You should do that. Moving on to the fourth and last section, we are gonna talk about travel cards. These are awesome because the amount of points you get, some of the intro bonuses for these cards are top notch. They're so good. You can basically fly like across the world and back twice with just the intro bonuses. So getting into the travel cards, this is where I'm gonna talk about two cards that you do have to pay an annual fee on. I personally think the annual fee is way worth it for both of these cards. Moving on to the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So in this family of Chase Sapphire cards, there are two kinds of cards. So the Sapphire Preferred and the Sapphire Reserve. We're gonna talk about the Preferred because I think that one is better. That one is a $95 a year annual fee. And I think honestly, all of the benefits of this card easily pay for the $95. For one, you basically get a $50 hotel credit. So if you think you're gonna use a hotel at least once in the whole year, you get $50 towards that. So that's already taking the cost down to $45. The intro bonus is 100,000 points. And those points are essentially worth $1,250 if you redeem it through Chase Travel. So honestly, like if you're gonna do any international trip, these points will easily pay for it. And you're essentially only paying $95. That's giving you 1,250 in just like your intro bonus. I think when I checked with United, for 60,000 miles, you could get an economy ticket from the US to Europe and back for 60,000 miles. So like, I think it's honestly very worth it. Reading out the different things this card gives you gives you the 5x back on travel purchased through the Chase portal, which is the same as the Freedom Flex. This card actually gives you 25% back on your purchases when you redeem it through the Chase travel portal. So they're going to give you 100,000 points, right? But if you redeem that in gift cards, it's going to be worth like maybe 750 to a thousand dollars versus if you redeem it in the Chase portal, it's worth 25% more. So it's a thousand two hundred fifty dollars. You also get 2% back on all other travel purchases that you don't purchase on the Chase portal. Portal. You get 3x back on online grocery, 3x back on dining, 3x back on some streaming services. Honestly, this is so worth it. Like, I think this one card is a great travel card. $95 a year is basically nothing for all of the benefits it's giving you. And after like two or three years, if you don't want it anymore, you can always downgrade it to the Chase Sapphire. I actually do have a referral link for this card. So if you are thinking about this card, definitely check my link down below if you want to support the channel. If you don't, that's also okay. It's fine. And the last card I'm going to talk about, I honestly 
absolutely love this card because I'm a very cheap person, but this card gives you benefits where like, I don't feel like I'm always cheap. But I actually, I'll, I will show this on camera because it's, it's like a super nice card. It like looks really good. I feel like everyone has this now, but it's the Amex Platinum card. This is absolutely great for travel. The intro bonus is 100,000 points. Again, similar to Chase, it's really worth it. Amex is definitely more of a luxury card. So you would redeem those 100,000 points for like a one way round trip in business class or something. There, it's a really good card for business class and first class buys. I would never pay thousands of dollars for that. But like when you redeem it for points, it actually is possible to get a full business class trip covered in those 100,000 points. That's essentially just your intro offer. You basically get those 100,000 points after you spend the $6,000 in your first six months. This is definitely a card you build up to. I would not recommend this card for people who don't spend that much monthly. Like it doesn't really make sense. This is like definitely a luxury card, but I think it's really worth it. If you are going to travel, if you do spend a good amount of money, you want to put it on cards that are essentially going to pay you back for owning them. There are so many benefits of having this card. Like I could make a full video on just that. So I'm not going to talk about every single benefit, but you get 200 back on travel. You get 200 back in Uber credit. You get a full like TSA pre-check membership. You get a clear membership. Like you get into all of the Centurion lounges and all of the different lounges under the Amex umbrella. So traveling is honestly like a treat when you have this card and you get so many dollars back. Basically pays for the $695 annual fee just in all the credits they give you and above that you get 5x back on any travel and it doesn't have to be through any portal like you could just book with southwest and get 5x back on your purchase i have a link for this as well so i'll add my link down below if you want to support the channel but yeah that's that's pretty much it so definitely do your own research into credit cards as well let me know if you want another video about this and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one